Hi students, it's Shayna from EspressoEnglish.net and today I'm going to teach you 10 English idioms for talking about problems and difficulties. Speaking of problems, idioms like these can be a problem when you're learning English. When you're watching TV or listening to a native speaker talk, you'll often hear idioms and they're hard to understand because you can't just translate them word for word. You have to know the meaning of the whole expression, otherwise it doesn't make sense. My course called 300 plus idioms in 30 days will teach you tons of common idioms in a way that's especially effective because it actually helps you figure out the idioms from context and also put them into practice yourself. Click on the link in the video description for more information about this course and to try the first lesson for free. All right, are you ready to learn these 10 expressions for talking about difficulties? Let's get started. Number one, at your wits end means when you are at the limit of your mental resources, desperate and without additional options. For example, I've been trying to download the file all day and I keep getting an error message. I'm at my wit's end. Number two, a catch-22. That's a situation in which it's impossible to succeed because of conflicting rules or conditions. For example, getting your first job is a catch-22 because companies want to hire someone with experience, but how can I get experience unless someone gives me a job? Number three, dodged a bullet means barely escaped from a dangerous or disastrous situation. For example, one of my ex-boyfriends later became a drug dealer. I'm glad I broke up with him. I definitely dodged a bullet. Number four, the crux of the matter is the most essential or main part of the problem. For example, of course there are a number of things that the country needs to improve, but the crux of the matter is that the politicians are corrupt. Number five, grasping at straws. This is when you're desperate and you're pursuing even the slightest hope or possibility, even if it probably won't work. For example, the police are grasping at straws because there's virtually no evidence at the crime scene. Number six, in dire straits. This means in a very serious, very bad situation. For example, Harry has been unemployed for the past three years. He's really in dire straits. Number seven, you've got your work cut out for you. This means when you have a large and difficult task to do in the future. For example, you want to finish a four-year college degree in just two years? Well, you've got your work cut out for you. Number eight, last resort. This is an option you use as a last chance when there are no other options available. For example, if we can't stay with any of our friends in London, then we can always book a hotel as a last resort. Number nine, the tip of the iceberg. This means only a small part of a problem when the biggest part of the problem is hidden. For example, my parents arguing about where to go on vacation was only the tip of the iceberg. They treated each other horribly throughout their marriage. Number 10, a vicious cycle. This is when one problem causes another problem, which then causes the first problem again. For example, when I gain weight, I have less energy to exercise. And when I do less exercise, I gain even more weight. It's a vicious cycle. Now, I challenge you to use these expressions yourself. Try writing your own sample sentence for each one. When you join my 300 idioms course, you can actually get a teacher's feedback and correction on your sentences. Each lesson in the course includes homework that you can send in and get feedback from our teaching team. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.